and Niagara comes in. They're the highest scoring team in the league. Last time out, they had a two-game winning streak snap, scored just 52 points at St. Peter's. Steve, scoring is going to be important in this one, so appropriately, we look at your first impact player for Niagara, and it's Khalil Dukes. In three regular season games against Monmouth in his career, Khalil Dukes is averaging 24 a game. He's 13 of 23 from three in those games. This season, he's the league leader in three-point field goal percentage and free throw percentage, shooting at over 90%. And Niagara gets a lot of their work done on the racing down floor. A great look there from Sal Nave. No look past finding Malik Martin, but Martin's got to do a better job of controlling his body there. That's your impact player, Khalil Dukes. Such an efficient guard. He shoots 47% from the floor. Well, Dukes has been so tough for the Monmouth Hawks the last few regular season games and really lights them up from the outside. Salve streaking to the rim, hits the floor, but he's able to get it to go. And Chris Casey imploring his guys to get that ball out of the rim and, and push it. And right on cue, there's Khalil Dukes. Is that his 14th three against Mom at the last two years? Yes, it is. And he ha you have to be present at all times against Khalil Dukes. Even if you're a big hedging out on a ball screen, you have to be ready to put a hand up. Tillman threw it away right to Marvin Prochet. Dukes finds Matt Scott, and he'll go to the free throw line when we return. The rebound, Eddie, and great job by Zach Tillman, and the crowd at the Ocean First Bank Center loves seeing Big Zach get up high for that rebound. And Dukes, the ultimate answer back the other way. He not only hit the three, he gave everyone the, okay, all right. I love Khalil Dukes' game. He is ice cold. Polari will try another one. The rebound's tipped right to McClary. Active hands by Tillman towards that. And another offensive rebound for Monmouth is two more points. Scott's fouled again. He went to the free throw line going into our first media timeout. He'll do so again going in to the second. Monmouth leading Niagara 22-19. Mammoth hit a three, and then it was answered by one of the best shooters in the league, Khalil Dukes, who tells everyone in the Ocean First Bank Center, I got it, I got it. Holders low, and he's really good going to his left hand, and then the finish. Interesting, your leverage point. That might be important later today. I think there's a football game later on. Oh, nice segue, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Four-point lead for Mammoth. How about our two impact players on the switch? And Dukes to the window. His arsenal, Steve, is amazing. I would hate to play horse against Khalil Dukes. Uh, I've got to assume that Khalil Dukes has an undefeated record in horse. Uh, he, he's an incredible shooter. An uh, impossible matchup with Tillman switched off on him. An easy bank shot for Dukes. What a touch. Well, he made that bank shot look easy. That's not an easy shot. Production from everybody else. It's a team that's 7-4 in the league, and, you know, they've got a whole lot of scores on this team. There's another shot for Dukes. He has been such a thorn in the side for Mammoth, and continues to light them up, and, and what a shot that was. Right in off the bench, pull-up jump shot. Really nice Euro and finish, also doing it on the defensive end, getting that steal. He's got eight points in this first half. Screen and roll, Prochet on the baseline. And right on cue, Mammoth does a little trap the ball screen there, and that's why some teams don't do it. And Mammoth has been hurt by Khalil Dukes. He's got 12 points. He's knocked down a couple of threes. But really such a dynamic guard, and Mammoth just continues to struggle with him. I think this game's going to come down to who gets the most stops consistently late in this game. Basket by Scott. Deion Hammond got caught watching. But you have to keep your man in front of you. So all of that's created by Joe Hemtration. Six in a row for Matt Scott to begin the second half. And Niagara leads 48-44. Friday night. You said Tyler Nelson came out and had nine second half points in seemingly three minutes. And it was all from three. And Niagara this time looks like they're getting to the rim. And then you have Khalil Dukes weaving his way around that ball screen and another pull-up jump shot. Purple Eagles have outscored Mom at 10-2 in the second half. The guard when he gets that deep. Wow, that was as easy as it gets for Zach Tillman. Greg King not really doing much of anything to guard Zach. 
How do you defend that? Khalil Dukes from beyond NBA range. You just hope it doesn't go in, Eddie. It's, he's an impossible cover because he can step out and he can get it off so quickly. Well, those numbers you detailed early in this game, what he's done against Mammoth, are unbelievable. Tillman called for the offense. Or Zach backed him all the way down under the basket. So what do you do? Uh, put your body into him, draw the charge, flop a little bit. That's a great play. Crochet open. Niagara really getting anything they want offensively in this second half. There's On that possession, a lot of dribble drive basketball, but great job of staying in front. Dukes again. Khalil Dukes. But he's proven time and time again, Eddie, that he can make that shot. And if you're Mammoth, I know he's five feet away from the line and it's it's a tough shot, but it's a shot that's not tough for Khalil Dukes. Right. And if you're Malik Martin hedging out in that screen, you have to be there sooner. Now, Steve, it's a great point. Now, if I went out there and start hitting from there, then you go, that's not on the scout. <laughs> but if Khalil Dukes is doing it, he's in range when he catches it. He's starting to feel it. Dukes feeding Rob. On that possession, a lot of dribble drive basketball, but great job of staying in front. Dukes again. Khalil Dukes. But he's proven time and time again, Eddie, that he can make that shot. And if you're Mammoth, I know he's five feet away from the line and it's, it's a tough shot, but it's a shot that's not tough for Khalil Dukes. Right. And if you're Malik Martin hedging out in that screen, you have to be there sooner. Now, Steve, it's a great point. Now, if I went out there and start hitting from there, then you go, that's not on the scout. <laughs> but if Khalil Dukes is doing it, he's in range when he catches it. He's starting to feel it. Dukes feeding Rob. And Dominic Rob will go to the line. Niagara's been able to execute towards the end of these media timeouts. All half. It'll be the fourth time they'll go to the free throw line out of a break. Niagara on a big run here in the second half. Keyed by who else? One of their leading scorers. And one of the leading scorers in the league. The unconscious Khalil Dukes. And that sends it back to Niagara. Dukes had the feet set. That is easy money for Khalil Dukes. That's great zone offense by Niagara. And poor defense, leaving the best shooter in the gym wide open against the zone D. But credit Niagara for passing. Going to be similar here this afternoon. There's Dukes. Never stops running, and he gets the roll. Uh, he's just such a tough cover. And you know, Tillman doing all he can to stay in front, but what a shot there. Pull up jump shot right on the dime. Make a play. The inbounds is stolen by Dukes. How about 30 points for Khalil Dukes on the goaltend? He's up to a game high 31. Well, Khalil Dukes against Mammoth. In regular season games, this is the fourth regular season game. He's had 27, 20, 25, and has 31, but he might finish with 40. And of course, the player who goes to the line is the guy, if you're an Niagara fan, you want to see at the free throw line. Another one coming for Dukes. He's had himself a pretty good day from the foul line, wouldn't you say? Uh, he's just a lights-out shooter, Eddie, and Mammoth continues to put him on the line in these one-and-one -one situations. Game out. They're in every one, and they're just coming up short in all these games without first-teamer teamer Micah Seaborn. Give Niagara all the credit in the world after falling to St. Peter's last game out. They come on the road here to Mammoth, put up 96 points behind 37 from Khalil Dukes and walk out of here with a W. A monstrous effort for the red shirt senior, Khalil Dukes. I don't know if you get a better game in the MAC than what we were treated to here this afternoon. From that man, Khalil Dukes goes for 37 points.
as Niagara wins its 15th game of the year. And we speak now to his head coach as Susie Milano is joined by Chris Casey. Coach, a roller coaster of a game, but we got to talk about Khalil Dukes. 37 points tonight. Just how good was he? Uh, he was outstanding. You know, um, he did a really good job of getting loose in the defense, uh, made threes. If you're Chris Casey, as we'll take a look at the final stats, and you've got two guys that combined for over 40, but then you get 37 from one of them, you're going to be tough to beat. We'll take a look at our final numbers. Well, Dukes put his team on his back and continues to just light up the Mammoth Hawks. 37 points on 11 to 17 shooting, knocked down five threes, a perfect 10 of 10 from the free throw line. And Mammoth kept putting him on the line in the one and one situation. He also had two free throws when King Rice got teed up. And those ended up being important points in this game as well. Mammoth puts five players in double figures, led by Louis Polari's 18. But all of that pales in comparison to the show Khalil Dukes put on this at uh, this afternoon in West Long Branch. 37 points. Added in those numbers, a perfect 10 of 10 from the line. Steven, a big road win for Niagara. And such an impossible cover. Jay hit some big shots as well. Big win for Niagara here on Sunday. Pinty saying so long from the Ocean First Bank Center. Sunday afternoon.